the farm families of Cabot Cooperative are happy to be stuck in Vermont. Welcome to Stuck in Vermont, brought to you by Seven Days. My name is Ava Solberger. We're here in Burlington, Vermont, and behind me is the raging Winooski River. It has not been this high since the flood of 1927. Southern and central Vermont have been hit hard by Tropical Storm Irene. Rivers and streams have flooded. In Rockingham, Vermont, a 141-year-old covered bridge fell into the river below. This is what's left of the bridge that I was standing on over the Saxons River before the water rose. And many roads are impassable, thus making many Vermonters actually stuck in Vermont. Look at the power of this. This is unbelievable. This is so incredible. This water is normally a trickling stream this time of year that you can easily walk over. The photos and the videos coming out of towns like Brattleboro, Montpelier, Queechy, Waterbury, Waitsfield, Woodstock are striking and terrifying. We don't know if this bridge will exist tomorrow. Burlington and Winooski escaped most of the damage, but the Winooski River is still raging. Yeah, we didn't have anything at all, no damage to the infrastructure, uh, very limited power outages, very isolated, uh, no flooding. We didn't even have any real calls for service. All along the Winooski today, people are out taking photos, taking videos, I walked along the Winooski River today and talked to people about this historic flooding. What do you think of what's going on out there? Uh, I don't know. Pretty spectacular though. Have you ever seen the river like this? No, I never have. Checking out the river. And what do you think about the river? The river is unbelievable. This is the rough, roughest I've ever seen it. And I see you have your camera. Uh, yes. So are you, are you documenting this? Yes, I am. Why are you down here today? Uh, just to watch like a lot of other people, and also to keep people from trying to climb down over the embankment and down to the riverbank. Did you do the dam tour? Yeah, we walked all the way from there. Well, started down there and walked all the way to the other end. How is the river doing? How's the Minuski? Uh, a lot of water going down through. We figure it's about ready to crest right about now, so I think we're okay. And it's turned into quite a spectator sport. You know, this is once in a lifetime for a lot of folks. This is the highest this river's been since the 27 flood, so. Have you heard of the flood of 1927? Yes. Oh yeah, my father was involved in it. Uh -huh. And what did he tell you about the, about the yeah. flood? Well, he, he was there when the bridge went out.
that is my walking path. How are you think, feeling about the rest of the state of Vermont? Well, we were just talking about being available to assist the other areas. As soon as this settles down, there's a lot of roads that need to be repaired, uh, a lot of damage to infrastructure around the state. So listen up, Vermonters. I know times are tough right now, but we're going to make it through this. We're going to get out of all this mud and muck and dirty rainwater. Brick by brick, day by day, we're going to rebuild our state. And it's going to be just as beautiful and just as scenic as it's always been. And it's lucky Vermonters are so tough. Absolutely. <laughs> Vermont. I know. We can handle anything. <laughs> With that Vermont can do spirit, I'm sure that we can rebuild. We're going to suck them out here again real soon. And do you think average Vermonters can do anything to help or pitch in? Well, I think put a plug in for the Red Cross. Mm -hmm. They're going to be helping a lot of people and they can always use either volunteers or donations or assistance. Up.